Big weekend for the Sooners as they add to their defense here on MLK Weekend. Let's talk about that here coming up in just a minute. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation, talking OU football, college football, and honestly, sports in general. And on this video, we're going to talk about OU beefing up the depths of their defense while having a very busy visitation weekend. Let's dive right in there, shall we? It's MLK weekend, and if you celebrate the federal holiday, hopefully you've got some rest and some relaxation. I took advantage of it, took a break, uh, got some rest in, as well as kept a pulse on what's going on this past weekend. So we had a lot of visitors over the weekend, as well as move-in weekend for those freshmen that decided to leave high school a semester early and go ahead and early enroll. So Hopefully you all saw that. Go look at the OU video, uh, OU's Twitter account. I think it's on Facebook as well. They have a video of the coaching staff being the bailman, helping the newly freshmen coming into school, helping them move their stuff into their rooms. You had uh, Jerry and Kanick. You had Nick Evers. You had just you know all the freshmen that are coming in. So it's a pretty exciting time and busy time, even though it was you know super cold. It was nice and warming for the heart to see the OU coaching staff getting their hands dirty with those kids and helping them move in for college. So it's pretty exciting. But besides that, there was a ton of visits that went on this past weekend. Here's a list of the ones that were expected since possibly Thursday. And then on top of that, OU saw some commitments. Let's go down the list of commitments that we saw, which leads to the depths we're going to see on the defensive side. So first Sunday evening, Wyoming cornerback, C.J. Colding decided to bring his talents to Norman, Oklahoma, as he is a basically a graduate transfer, um, one year left from a Wyoming corner. Pretty excited to see him out there on the field. He played a lot over the last few years for Wyoming. This uh, played the last 19 games while he was there. Looked pretty solid. And it feels like OU is adding some veteran presence there. So with the new coaching staff being in place, they're bringing in guys they feel like will be impactful. And having a veteran corner never hurts, especially as you start to prepare yourself, build these young players up going towards the SEC. On top of that, today, actually this afternoon, Louisville corner Connie Walker has committed to Oklahoma. Now he has four years left. He only played sparingly at Louisville, six foot two corner. He not much playing time. Like I say, about five games, only about 15 snaps, but at six, two nice speed, nice size. He was like a three-star corner coming in out of high school. I believe that he has a opportunity to fight for a starting spot or a nickel spot on this roster. So this is some of the players that, Oh, you're bringing in, like I said, from this new staff, and they also hosted uh, Trey Morrison, which we should hear later today on his decision. As today being MLK Day, a lot of these kids are going to start enrolling. As school starts tomorrow, you'll see a lot more kids making their decisions so they can enroll early, be part of the spring semester, be part of spring game, be part of early practice, and get ahead of everything as we prepare for next season. So in the secondary, you had that. And then you have Deshaun White, linebacker, senior. I guess he would be considered a super senior. He's going to return for one more year, which is pretty awesome to see. So that gets us another veteran presence here in Oklahoma as we lost, you know, Nick Benito is out, Brian Azamoa, Caleb Kelly, all of them are basically gone. So it never hurts to have a guy who was third in tackles from the team, 60 make their return to bring additional veteran presence to that linebacker squad. And then on the defensive line, you saw Oklahoma really branch out there. So Todd, Todd Bates, Brent Venable, as well as Ted Roof went out and added themselves some beef to that line. Uh, Jonah La, Laulu, Laulu, hopefully that's correct. Six foot six, 280 senior that played in Hawaii. He has decided to come in the last three seasons he uh, played 24 games, had about 70 tackles, 19 for a loss, and eight sacks. And last year, he had four sacks and a fumble recovery in 10 games with 33 total tackles, which 
pretty good to add some beef up there. He should has about two years left with the super senior uh, status due to COVID. So that's always a plus to have that additional guy if he wants to stay for one more year, if he is impactful. And then Oklahoma went out there and stole one of the top players in the transfer portal in Jeffrey Johnson from Tulane. He played four years there. He has one season left on there. We watched him terrorize OU at the beginning of the season last year. Um, but in his four years there, 15 tackles for a loss with 135 total tackles and 10 sacks. So nice having that big boy in there to add beef to that defensive line, as I mentioned. And let's see. I, there's We don't know how good they're going to be yet only because you never know until you get on the field and you actually see players produce. But if Todd Bates, Ted Roof, Brent Venables feel like these are guys they want to go after, uh, Jay Valai, if you feel like this is the corners that he wants to go after, there's got to be something special with them, especially with their eye for talent on the defensive side. Now, on the offensive side, there's a lot more pieces that we're waiting for, uh, especially like the Jackson Dart information him and Michael Trigg they will be coming as a package deal as it appears they're traveling everywhere together here's their video from Oklahoma and it appears that they will definitely go to the same place together because they want to play together and I I can't be mad at that I appreciate guys that want to stick with what they know so in that case let's see what we get from them potentially later today like I said school starts tomorrow Most likely they're going to make their announcement in the next few hours. So by the time you watch this video, the announcement will probably happen for them on the offensive side. But we got Dylan Gabriel there. We've seen all the young boys in. I'm amped to see what Oklahoma brings us. Uh, We'll talk about the depth charts over the next few weeks as that's probably the most content to really talk about outside of recruits in preparation for uh, signing day. So with that, chop it up with you in a few days. Peace. Peace.